Let me put in here two lines, okay? We're gonna have two X, three Y plus five equals zero. And this other one. Okay, we have these two lines. First thing that we need to do is find out about the relative position between these two. What are they? A par uh, sorry, uh, second, parallel, or coincident? Habría que calcular. Second. Son okay. second. Me duermo. They look like second. They are not one multiple of the other. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so we can guess that the slope is not going to be the same. Let, let me just do quickly the slope. So this is three. This is going to be our first slope. And in here, we do the same. This is our second slope. They are clearly not the same, right? Mm -hmm. That means that they are, there exists a point of intersection, right? Let's find that point. Now, about that point, we can just solve the system, right? It's going to be only one solution. Uh, if we solve the system, let me do it by elimination. Is that okay? Elimination. Mm -hmm. The second one times negative two, so that the x cancels. So having here seven, this is 21 equals zero, one equals three, minus 21 divided by seven, negative three, right? Is that correct? Please check the operation. Now, um, for example, in this, in the first one, we have x plus 3 times negative 3 plus 5 equals 0. 2x minus 9 plus 5 equals 0. 2x minus 4 equals 0. x is, sorry, x is 4 over 2, or what is the same, 2. My Are point of intersection. Up? Yeah, give me a second. So I write the answer. Then I see. Thanks. So the point of intersection is two negative three. Fantastic. Now let's find the angle between two, these two lines. Can I go to the next page, guys? No, 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 no. Person, no, 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 Okay, next step. Let's find the angle between the two lines. Can I? <laughs> okay, now I know that the two angles are like this. And this point is the point of intersection. Two negative. Okay? Estamos buscando el ángulo between two lines, no? Yeah. We want to find the angle between the two lines. Okay. Sorry about my handwriting. Now, the angle between two lines. It is true that we know how to calculate the angle between two vectors. Do you remember that? Sí, pero entonces no podríamos encontrar un punto de cada línea y luego convertirlo en vectores. It's going to be even easier. Bueno. The angle between two vectors, you were given two vectors. Let's say that this is B and this is U. 
we had a formula is the cosine of the angle equals the dot product divided by the magnitude, right? And then once we know the cosine, we just need to do the arc cosine of the cos minus one of this whole thing. Now, how do we apply this to the angle between two lines? Look, the two lines are gonna have a point, there's only one in common, and we also have a direction vector. Okay? Let me do a random diagram. Let's see if this helps. Oops. It's supposed to be a straight. Sorry. Do I only get no practice? Random diagram. Let's say that these are my two lines, right? Uh, this line, L1, is going to have this direction vector, right? Mm -hmm. For example, it can be this length or longer, shorter, whatever. But it points in the same direction as the line. This other line, L2, is going to have this other direction, sorry. It's more or less trying to point in the same direction, okay? If I just try to find this angle, isn't that angle going to be the same as the angle between the two lines? It is. Yes. It is. So the only thing that we need to do is uh, choose one direction vector from one line, one direction vector from the other line, and calculate the angle between those two vectors. Okay? Next one? Direction vector. No, 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 no entiendo nada. Yo tampoco. vector. O sea, lo de que es the angle between the two vector. lines is the same as the angle between any two direction vectors. It doesn't but, matter if the vectors I'm choosing are longer or shorter, but the angle between them is going to be the same, right? Mm -hmm. So any two direction vectors are going to have the same angle because they represent the same direction as the line, right? Make sense? Mm-hmm. Now, how mm -hmm. do I choose a direction vector from this one? Um, you gain coordinates of points. Look, let me go for the slope. The slope in this line was uh, minus two over three, right? Oh, yes. you flip it. Minus three, two. O sea, three, minus one. one. That's it. I can rewrite it like this. Wait, why this is that? This vector points in the same direction as this one, right? I'm going to do Oh, yeah, this is thinking. <laughs> the other line has a slope that is one half, right? So this other line has an M that is one half. That means that my U, for example, could be 2 over 1. That is 4 over 2 or 6 over 3. They are infinitely many, or minus 2 over minus 1. But just choose what? any that we present. Oh, yeah. eh, Marina, una cosa. Yep. Da igual donde esté el negativo. In this case, yes, it does. Because 3 and minus 2 and minus 3, 2, one points down and the other one points up. But the direction is exactly the same. So the angle between the two vectors is going to be exactly the same. Entonces lo podemos poner menos 3, 2. You can choose any vector that represents that direction. So you can write minus three, two. Yes. Vale. Now, with these two, I'm going to follow the formula that I have in here, the green formula, OK? Oh, sorry. Oh, even worse. OK, for this formula, I need. On top, u times b, scalar product, 2 times, sorry, b, times negative 2, right? And here, magnitudes. The magnitude for the first one, 2 squared plus 1 squared. Magnitude for the second one, 3 squared plus minus 2 
square. I work on this, so I get 6 minus 2. This is 4 plus 1 square root of 5 times square root of 9 plus 4. 4. 9 plus 4. 13, isn't it? Yeah. Eh, Marina, ¿puedes subir un momento? Yes. Now, I'm going to need your help with the calculator in here, okay? Can I go down? Yes. Okay. Now, in here on top, we're going to have four, and in here, those two square roots, okay? Can anyone do this operation? Minus one, square root of five times square root of 13. Be careful with the brackets, okay? Or divided by brackets, and the whole thing has to be in the denominator, okay? This is a really ugly number, like the final. It result. is. It is. I chose the example randomly. But then you can just round the angles, percent in degrees, and that's it. Imagine Anyone? doing this in 30 seconds. <laughs> no, for this, you might have like 30 minutes. Well, this one's easy though. Come on, like no, it, it could maybe not thirty seconds, but like. You just have to find the the slopes and then do this, like. If you know what you're doing is quick. Yeah, that's the same thing. If you have to look for the process, if you have to try to just find out how to do it, you're not gonna have time. That's for sure. Oh. Okay. Anyone? Can anyone give yes. me this number, please? 60.255. Oh, please. Oh, please, right? Uh, oh, for me, I'm Yes. Oh, really? Yes. Be careful with the brackets. Put the four and then... No, no, no. That's addition. what I got. That's what I got. Two of you got that? Yes. Then I, got, I got that, yeah. This is the right answer. Okay, 60.255. Perfect. Yeah. That's it. That the method is correct. Then your work with the calculator, that might be the, the thing. But is that okay? Uh, no, not okay. No. No. Where are you? <laughs> en el, a ver, en el vector V, me, yes. o sea, 3 puede ser negativo. Pero es que si lo metes yep. en la fórmula de abajo, entonces en yep. vez de 4 te sale menos 4. You're going to get a different number. Look, imagine this situation. Instead of choosing a vector that points down, you choose a vector that points up. Let me say that we're choosing in here the same thing. One will give you this, and the other one will give you this. Let me go up to this. You're considering these two different angles. But if you know but one, you can know the other one. the angle though. between the two lines, right? Mm -hmm. When you add them, they both add up to 180, right? You know what I mean? Both answers are correct. Depending on the direction, the, sorry, the orientation of the vector, you might get this angle or this other one. But it does sirven. Yes, of course. Take a look at this. This might be your 60, and the other one is probably like 120 something or 119 something, right? Am I right? No, sé. Lo voy a meter in the calculator a ver. <laughs> Marina, can you please go down? Yep.